Hi guys! So today I want to show you how to do some tie-dyeing. Um, I want to start doing a how-to Tuesday. Um, so I'll upload something every Tuesday of something that I have made during the week. If I see something in a shop that I quite like and I think I can make that, I probably will. I won't buy it, I will try and make it. Um, so you need a couple of things before you get started. Um, this video is going to show me actually doing it and it will show you the things you need as well and then I will talk you through it as we go. You need buckets for your mixture, your fabric dyes and your salt, a metal spoon just to stir and a little bottle that you can put your dye in if you're not dip dyeing and applying the dye manually. This gives you the blotchy effect. Then of course you need your fabrics or whatever it is you are tie dyeing. Okay, so start by making your dyes. Add a teaspoon of your dye and a teaspoon of your salt into your bottle of water and shake until it all dissolves. This means it won't come out like grainy. So then prepare your fabric. So lay out your fabric and start twisting it from the centre. It creates a spiral shape and secure it with rubber bands. Then apply your dyes from your bottle. If you're going to dip dye, make sure your mixture is in the bucket and place one end of your material into the mixture. Leave it for about five minutes or so and you should get the desired effect. Obviously leave it in for longer if you want it darker. There are obviously lots of different ways to get different shapes and you can use more than one colour at a time but be aware that the colours may fade in the wash so if you do want it to be quite bright use more dye when you first start off. Okay guys, so once you have done all of that, you need to leave um, your t-shirts um, for about five hours. Rinse them in the sink until the water runs clear. Then I wash them, I put them in the washing machine and let them dry and everything. And this is the result. So, this is my favourite one. It's gone a little bit purple, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a lovely swirl right on the front. Obviously used too much of the dye and in the little bottle and made it purple. So I think I got the consistency a, a bit better because it is definitely more blue. So this is the male t-shirt that I was doing. So I dip dyed this one and I kind of wanted it to look like an ocean. I don't, unlike waves, I don't think it's kind of done that. But I quite like it anyway. It's a bit messy but first time so... You know, um, with the rubber gloves, I um, kind of flicked the dye at it. But yeah, so that one's not bad. Big bit of material worked really well, actually. I spiralled that one um, to make it look like a little cinnamon bun. So I twisted it from the middle and then kind of um, got the elastic bands and made sure I could see all of the circles. It looks a bit like ink. It's that kind of pastely baby blue. It means I can cut out the good bits of the tie-dye and use that for pockets. I think that'll look quite good. Or it'll just look like ink has run in a pocket, but we'll see. <laughs> so this is the final girl's t-shirt. This one worked out really well. I'm really happy with this one. Um, this one I also dip-dyed, um, and I actually held it up. I don't know if you could see it in the time lapse. It was very quick. But I kind of held up the t-shirt like that to make the dye kind of run down and I think that worked quite well and then I splattered it as well just to get it a little bit more like colour all the way through but I really like this one as well so yay! I know it wasn't really much of a tutorial as just watching me do it but it was really really easy and I found that there's so many different ways you can do it um, and I didn't even use all my dye, I've still got loads of dye left, and I didn't use all the colours either, so I feel like I might do it again pretty soon. <laughs> and it's a great way, in all honesty guys, to kind of reinvent new t-shirts, well, reinvent old t-shirts in a new way. But I am so happy with them, I think they're really, really nice. So yeah, thank you for watching my How To Tuesday, How To Tie Dye. Um, I've really enjoyed making it and I will see you next time for another How To Tuesday. Thanks guys, bye!